Hey everybody, so we're talking about the basics. I would have to say one of the most common basic questions that I get is, what style am I? Yeah. So we thought it'd be a good idea to give you a basic lesson in decorating styles. Now the reason I haven't talked too much about this in the past is that today it seems like most people have developed a style of their own. Not really a textbook style like the ones we're going to show you. Well in my book, your style is better because well, it has a history, there are stories behind the items, and some may be family heirlooms and all put together. They create a home that is comforting, familiar, and just right for you. So don't worry so much about what style you are, well, unless you're getting ready to redo everything and want to make a whole new, new cohesive statement, which is exactly what sticking in one style will do for you. All right, why don't we take a look at a couple of the basic popular styles. All right, well, we're going to start with traditional. It's a good place to start because it's easy to understand. Mm -hmm. It's about everything classic, like classic themes, colors, and all the classic furniture styles you've heard of over the years. You know, familiar styles like the Queen Anne with its sort of curved legs, and they're called cabriole legs. Tradition mm. is all about detail and ornamentation. So let's take a look at our traditional grouping. Now back here we have a Queen Anne style wing back chair with those short cabriole legs and side wings, and that's what gives it its name. Traditional style area rug, of course, displays that center medallion, which is very common. And like traditional furniture, it has curved lines and lots of detailing. Now these traditional pillows have what sort of seem to be a bit of an Eastern influence to them, but I like their color with what I've selected. And they're made out of velvet, which again is a very traditional fabric. For the wall mirror, an oval, very traditional. And the pretty floor lamp has that graceful curve and the traditional style in its shade and some of the refined detailing you see, like in the finial and the swing arm, along with that added tabletop. So basically, a combination of traditional elements will create a very classic and timeless look. Well, in stark contrast to traditional is contemporary style. Now, where traditional styles have been around for hundreds of years, contemporary furnishings have been around since about the 1940s. Now, contemporary style is all about organic and geometric lines and shape. So, let's look at our contemporary chair. Now, very clean lines, basic rectangles, but put together to create a seat, back, and arms. Then just toss in a couple of bold colored pillows on that neutral chair to bring in a punch of color. Now the pillows, I think, are just like art themselves. Now on the wall, the contemporary mirror uses geometric shapes, circles to create a circular frame, and it's finished in a very nice glowing brushed brass. Now this very linear floor lamp with rounded rectangular shades finishes the contemporary look. So, basically, with contemporary style, and I know you've heard this before, <laughs> less is more. All right, let's take a real quick look at transitional. Now, this is a style that's very popular today because it lies somewhere between traditional and contemporary, which seems like a tough thing to do, but basically, it's a less detailed traditional and a softer, more detailed contemporary. But like contemporary style, it uses neutrals and textures, so the finished look is about comfort and practicality. It's more relaxed and probably common today because it's for busy, active families. Now notice that the chair has cleaner lines than the traditional wing back, yet those soft curves that many of the straight line contemporary styles don't have. The rug is neutral but more curvilinear and detailed like traditional. Simple pillow has some detail but doesn't go overboard, and the mirror is in a nice wood but plain and casual. Now, less curves are seen in lighting pieces as well. In our transitional room, you see some clean lines in the occasional tables, but then the soft round arms and back of the upholstery warms the room. <laughs> so that's a lot to absorb for now. And next time, I think we'll go over style and we'll talk about French country, which is very inviting, colorful, and full of old world details. Mission style, which emphasizes natural materials, especially wood, and then Americana, which is a broad topic that we could probably cover by itself, so it's very varied. Now, they are all very interesting, and the information is certain to expand your knowledge of interior design and decorative style. It certainly has mine. <laughs> and more information on decorative style is available on our site.